main man like the Lancer River more. <clears throat> Gruel Ponza action. Hope you guys are all excited for it. I know I am. Like I said, my name's Lance. But more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore as my screen name on. Twitch. YouTube. MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you're watching on Twitch, please start following. If you're watching on YouTube, please start subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. You can always follow me on Twitter, of course. 3-3 three, three says Abzan Ponza. What? Abzan Ponza? No. Just Ponza, Gruel Ponza. How you doing, man? Glad you're here. Um, you know, so uh, yeah, follow Major Riot on Twitch and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe to Major Riot on YouTube for the low, low cost of free to reap the benefits immediately. Don't delay. Do it now for a guaranteed outburst of rage and most definitely confusion. 100% chance of confusion in the forecast. Uh, also, I need to have this disclaimer. I'm not responsible for a sudden increase in top decking only lands getting wrecked by Ragavan. And never finding your sideboard card has nothing to do with me. Just letting you all know. Um, so, yeah, as you guys can tell, I do enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer playing Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks are Jund, Grixis Shadow, Abzan. We've seen you right now. Gruel Ponds of Midrange. Gruel Ponds of Midrange is my favorite deck because that guy has the most success with both in paper and digital. And it's what most likely you see me play, even though I've been playing a lot of Abzan lately. And I don't plan on quitting Abzan anytime soon. Uh, so yeah, let's see here. We are still at, no, we went up one follower on Twitter. We are now at 20. So thank you guys very much there. Well, first let's do the weather. I got to talk about that real quick. Let's do weather here. All right. Weather for, for, for Ravenstone. This is our rain with a temperature of 44 degrees. The wind is blowing from the Southwest at 11 miles per hour. The crew humidity is 78%. Yeah, it looks like maybe the storm passed, but right before I started the stream, uh, the power went out. For about 30 seconds. So I'm hoping that this storm has passed. But it's been really nasty the last couple days. Um, and it may be the perfect timing. To start a stream of Ponza. It may very well me. Uh, so let's see here. Yeah, so I said up to 20 followers on Twitter. We went up one more follower on Twitch. We're at 238. So thank you guys very much there. And we went up to 385 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys very much there indeed. So shout out to all 20 followers on Twitter. Shout out to all 238 followers on Twitch. Shout out to all 385 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all five of my Twitch subscribers. They're going to be a little bit of harder money in very trying times, very dangerous times, very uncertain times. Uh, they're going to be a little bit of harder earned money. With a, I know they could be using it somewhere else. But thank you so very, very much for deciding to take your little bit of extra money or whatever amount of extra money you got, just whatever's going on in your life, and give me a little bit of a little bit of it. And I really appreciate it going way above and beyond the call of duty, like way above. And it's so awesome. Thank you guys so very, very much. Uh, we did get a new follow. Let's get him on up here. Here he is. Thank you kindly, Azulde Jestor. For the follow, if you ever watched me live, let me know where you're from, what your favorite modern deck is. I'd love to know. So yeah, I talked about the storm. Uh, I did play it on 1K. Uh, yeah, here we go. You ready, 3-3? Three, three? Went to a 1K with Abzan. Uh, it was an absolute disaster. <laughs> I won round one against Burroughs Burn. They just destroyed that guy. I was like, all right, let's go. And then I lost round two to Tron, and then I lost every round after that because I got mana screwed in reverse. Normally, I draw too many lands. This time, I could not draw enough lands. I almost won a game against Jund with no cards on the field except for Kaya, uh, Orzhov Usurper, because I kept trying to get to ultimate to win the game instantly. Because the guy had like 20-something cards in his exile. And that would have been amazing to kill him through that with no cards on the field. But just couldn't have it. He kept top decking Lightning Bolts and Ragavans <laughs> to knock the uh, to knock it down. You know? And so, yeah, it was bad. I did defeat Boros Born in round six, so I still know that the deck that I went two and four... I know that Abzan can defeat Boros Burn. Those are pretty easy matches for me. Um, this weekend, of course, coming up on the 9th of April, 2022, is another 1K for me, and I will be taking this deck, what you see right here, Ponza to it. Um, there was another Ponza player who actually knew me. Not I've never seen him before, but he knew Major Rise, so I guess I'm getting around a little bit on the Ponza community. And uh, he built his list relatively the same as mine. I think he said that he was running, instead of a questing beast, he's running a third Ragavan, at least the main deck wise. And uh, I think he made top eight. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully, you know, knowing my luck, next weekend 
on this Saturday, I'll play Ponza and just run into nothing but, uh, you know, uh, Rhinos and Living End and, and Char Belcher and stuff. But we'll see. My buddies went to Spokane. They had a, they had a 1K over there in Spokane. And uh, they didn't do any better. <laughs> they drove all the way to the other side of the state. When I told them, just, just come to Issaquah. It's not very far. Just go to Issaquah. Things will be great. And they're like, no, no, the, the, it's easier over in Spokane. I don't know why they say that. I, 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 every time I've gone to Spokane, like 1K, 2Ks, I've been destroyed. I've never done anything over there. They have. That's why they think it's easier. Like, my one friend won a 2K over there. And, uh, you know, I was there when he won it. And same with another one of my, my other friend. So both two of my, so my two friends had both either won or got second place, and I've never done anything there. I drive all the way over there. It's a full day's drive. It's like a four-hour drive. You know, you, you got to leave our place at like 3 a.m., drive over there. You know, it just, I mean, I like doing it because you get to spend all day with your best friends. But, man, you go all the way over there and just get rocked. Not the best. So anyways, guys, I uh, got some pawns action here. It's the same list that I played last week. The only difference is there's no Buseju. Instead, I have six forced in there. I didn't really like Buseju. I've tried it before. I tried it again, and it just wasn't that good for me. So let's see how it goes today. Let's get on in there. And again, if the stream goes out, I apologize. That's the weather causing that. The weather will knock it down. So, yeah, I need to go through this and figure out what the hell is this stuff you know anyways it's gone in here a lot of bots in chat sometimes boomerang that's an interesting name. All right, looks good. I mean, I'll keep this hand all day. Uh, the beverage of the day, folks. We're going to have a theme this week. Hope you guys are excited for that. But the beverage of the day, I've never had one of these. I don't know what to expect from this. Uh, but let's take a look at this. And today is a Monster Juice Chaotic. There it is. Monster Juice Chaotic. It's got butterflies and stuff. Let me read the description by its creators to you all. Back in 2005, the original Juice Monster shook up the game by combining great tasting real juice with energy drink functionality and attitude. Now, over a decade later, we decided it was time for a little makeover of the classic. We lightened the flavor and adjusted the juice blend to create a taste that is better experienced than described. Of course, our Monster Energy DNA remains unchanged. For our new paint job, we called on longtime friend and legendary street artist Risk. His iconic West Coast style and vibrant personnel presentation perfectly captures the spirit of our original Chaos Reborn is Chaotic. There we go. No, Sarge, I always have three clothes. I've, I've never played with less. I tried four for a while, and it, it was too many, but I like three. I think three is the right amount. All right, because it's so good. It's like a planeswalker. All right, let's go on in here. The video doesn't officially start until the, the can is cracked open, and oh, yeah, it started. All right, here we go. Chaotic. That is very... Mid 2000s taste, but I like it. Please live, Arboro. When it goes to five, is this humans? Oh, no, it is not humans. Uh, give me a second here, guys. Taking care of some problems here. Trying to get rid of some bots there in the chat. I let them build up for a while, these bots. And because I don't know if they're real or not at first, if they're real human beings. And uh, once I realize they've been here multiple times, and they're, you can always kind of tell when it's a bot. All right, Gage is here, Ponza. I don't know what any of those things mean, but thank you for whatever those are. We 
could have a turn two Blood Braid Elf here. Which is always exciting. Why do there have to be two of them? Oh, well, I guess th these are just going to be taken out then. I mean, sure, you can have one and I'll brutally kill all of my fury. Gives me a Blood Moon, too. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we just get rid of Bone Crusher Giant, right? I mean, let's first do this. Say yes. Evoke. I think I still like getting rid of Bone Crusher. Yeah. Oh, man. This is brutal here. All right. That's how Ponza wins there, guys. Right on. So this might be some sort of hammer. So I'm going to bring in Cinder Vines, Force O Vigor, and uh, Engineered Explosives. Just guessing here. Um, take out Endurance, take out a couple Clothes, for sure, for sure. Uh, I said take these out, there we go. Maybe a Questing Beast. Probably a couple of Ragavans, and I think I'm good. Yeah, that's that simple, guys. It's that easy. Just annihilate the opponent. No, cannot keep. Mole. That was a Fury Scoop. They're like, oh, fuck that. All right, I'll keep here. Um, bottom and Arbor for Sprawl. Generally, like, bottling, bottoming a Sprawl in the scenario. All right. Okay, he loves his basic Esper Sentinels there. Great play, as always. Uh, let's get a Forest. Let's play Arbor Elf. Could really use a Lightning Bolt. You notice I could pay for everything. There's Saga. So yeah, this has to be some sort of uh, hammer. Oh, yeah. There we go. How about a top deck Fury now? Nettle Cyst? Hmm. Engineered Explosives. This seems pretty good. Okay, what do we do here? Shock. Sprawl. Yes. Yes. Play this. Untap here, pay the cost, say yes, do that, name red. Now it's like, do I stomp on the Stone Forge? Do I stomp on the Esper Sentinel? Uh, it's probably best to stomp on the Esper Sentinel, right? I think so. I mean, this is the thing right now is going to come in, depending on if they have a bunch of Memnites or something, right? But even the Engineered Explosive, what does he equip on this, too? Ugh. Yeah, they're going to have enough, it's one, two, if I leave that. Right now it would just be a one, one. So yeah, we'll take out the Sentinel and go from there. Well, they're not too badly punished there. Hopefully it's not like Cigar is aid, and then he plays two hammers or something. Then I'm like, oh, well, shit. I would have lost anyways no matter what I would have done, you know. I mean, I guess I should have held at instant speed in case that happens. Okay, let's so just get in by one. That's fine. 
Okay. All right. Oof, that's nice. Um, so yeah, we want to go get a basic forest here. So I have double green. Even though I took Questing Beast out, I still like to have a little security here with more green mana. <sighs> okay. Play Blood Moon. Knock off that Urza Saga. Yes. Now the question is, is do I put out Engineered Explosives? I don't think yet. I think instead we put out the Bone Crusher. See if I can't get him to commit to more zeros or something before I unload with it. Hopefully this slows him down a little bit. He does have his basic planes, which is annoying, but whatever. bit of a power surge there, but looks like everything's still working. No swing from the opponent. I would assume what's going to happen here is the opponent wants to bring in the nettle system, maybe at instant speed. So I can't destroy the equipment itself. So that's kind of crappy. Um, but what I can do is play this Arbor Elf. And I will get feisty. I will swing into the 4-3. The if he brings in that, it'll be a 3-3. Three, three. He takes it all. Okay. I think I want to do X is 0 here. X is zero. That way you can just destroy the token, destroy this germ. You know, hopefully there's no hammer coming. The stone wars are a little concerning. Hopefully his hand's just clogged with like Urza's sagas or something. Get punished for being greedy on the Urza saga, right? The two. I think I'm gonna throw an Arbrelf under the bus here. I have so much mana and I've already got five. Just not including the Arbrelf, so sure. Is that right, or should I just blow up the engineering explosives? Eh. Sure. The only way I get punished for that is if I have, like, Season Pyro into Blood Raid Elf. Then I'm sad. Nope, Utopia Sprawl didn't matter. All right, swinging for four. They take it. What is their plan here? I'm not really seeing a lot of activity from the opponent. They, they're probably waiting for me to waste the engineering explosives. I'm guessing. I 
bringing both of them in. Restoration of a Jonjo Saga? I don't know. I never read that card. I don't remember that card. I know the Legendary Land, the new one. I think it's a, like the worst one of the five, the new Legendary Lands. I don't know. It's close between that one and the red one. Uh, go to 11. I guess you got like Maul of Skyclaves would be a real problem here if... If he puts it on, I'm gonna I'm gonna call his bluff here. Just take three. All right, no mall there. Another different stone forge. Okay, these stone forge are starting to get scary. Oof, yeah, the calder completes really bad here. I need a uh, Fury. Oh, that almost kind of works. Now, yeah, I can't get rid of the Cauldra. What I can try to do is just straight up race here, though. Yeah, I just, I literally can't get rid of Cauldra Complete. Sucks. But. Maybe I can still race here. Add a basic place to your hand. You discard a card. If you do return from a graveyard for the battlefield, flip to a 3 4, makes a 1 1 spirit when it attacks or blocks. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to think more about it. I mean, probably not. It would have to. It'd have to, uh, you know, be better than any of the removal spells I have. I just don't think it's as good. Yeah, the power's flickering. Hopefully it doesn't go out. I still think it's as good as Lingering Spirits. All right, before blocks, let's get rid of any chance he has to block with that. All right, he's at six. That sucks. I can't find a way to stop this Cauldra. six we're looking pretty rough here season pyro I guess this is looking okay now I have to discard the force come on pyro double bolt eh. okay Here, if there's any way, green. I mean, no matter what, I gotta untap this thing. So we'll put another one on there. Name red. Untap it. Oh, I'm blood braid. Lightning bolt. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is game. There we go. Got him. Whoosh! Arr! There we are, right there. I didn't have to yarr when I won that one. Uh, what is this, like, hammer time? I'm gonna call it hammer time. I'm not very good at it. Close enough. Close enough. There we go.
That was nice there, guys. Top deck the Season Pyro. Find the Blood Braid. Blood Braid cascades into removing their blocker to attack for game. Yo! Some good shit. Alright. Yeah, this monster here, this chaotic monster energy juice, is taking me back. It's, they used to have that old, like, kind of, like, bite to energy drinks, you know? Like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just, it takes, it takes me back to, like, junior high, high school time. When energy drink tasted different than what the children know today. Just, you know, waiting for the opponent here. Hayseed. Uh, yeah, that's potential blood braid on turn two. Let's get it. Let's dig it. Opponent is very slow. This 3-3, three, three, uh, uh, three, three, this seems good uh, emoji. It looks a lot like a radio DJ you know, when he was younger. He's an old man now. Uh, BJ Shea in the Seattle area. It looks a lot like him. So whenever I see him, I'm like, is that BJ Shea? But no, it's not. All right. Ralgren Triome. This might be blue-white control. A lot of blue-white control players are running Ralgren. That way they can have a third color when they prismatic end. But no, looks like that is not the case. Don't do it. Don't bolt my... <sighs> Boy, I was going to fuck you up. Uh, what's up, DJ? Glad you're here, man. Good to see you. Uh, I, I think we just go... What do we do here? We go forest and then have a sprawl on each one. I'm not opposed to that. I mean, that really increases mana. While also keeping me uh, safe from, the, you know, uh, what you call it? It could be also be a money pile, maybe. Um, keeping me safe from spreading seas. Man, I was gonna nail this guy hard. Prismatic ending though, it's just too good. It's just too good. Waste of red. That's fine. Indeed. The expressive iteration. The ribbon dancing. Steam vents. It's the opponent's card for turn. Comes in tapped. I like that too, but we got to get things rolling here with the Blood Braid Elf. Come on, Blood Braid. Bust this thing open. Another delicious sprawl. Too bad I can't, you know, I thought about fetching a response, but whatever. Put it on here. Name red. Cloth is going to be just a monster pretty quick here. Uh, swing in for three. And we have a lot of mana, folks. A total of six mana on turn three. Man, my power is starting to flicker, guys. Hopefully the uh, stream doesn't cut out on it. If it does, you know why. Because we're going through some stormy weather here. Oh, no. Luckily, I have this bolt in my hand. No. No. The answer is no. I'll get my basic mountain here. Why not? Damn it, no. All right, now we need to blood moon them as quickly as possible since they, they, I know what this is now. Um, 
Blood Moon. Don't you dare force negation this. Yes! Okay. All right. Okay, so this deck is really tough to side against, in my opinion. Um, definitely Boyle comes in. I like these Dead Gons. These could be pretty good. You know, as extra removal for those tokens. Um, what looks bad here? Endurance is probably bad, right? I don't remember them using much Grave. Uh, Clothus. I'll probably take one out. Right? Yeah, yeah I'll take one out. Fury? Do I really need four? Considering the game's over, if they resolve their combo, most likely. Take out Chandra, take out Questing Beast. Yeah, we'll take out Questing Beast. This is in creativity. Playing as all the heinous shit today. Hammer time, creativity. We're going to show them who's boss, though. Right, guys? Excellent. Another quality hand here. Right, I do want a ton of removal, so that's why I decided to keep the Furies in, even though they're pretty slow removal at sorcery speed. Okay, potential blood rate on turn two again. What's nice about this type of opening is even if they hit my Arbor Elf, I can still punish them by dashing Ragavan next turn at them. So I've really enjoyed the two of Ragavan. I think four is too many. Oh. Okay. Oh well, I think we just still need to get Blood Raid going here. Right, because they need how much mana they need. I can never remember here. Indomitable creativity. Triple red and X. So I guess they could potentially have it next turn, but I'm going to run on a limb here and say they're not going to have it. It's a lot of text. All right. Come on, Blood Braid. Bone Crusher Giant. Oh my god. That's not enough. It's a, a 03 crab. Alright, it's okay. We got double bolt in hand. Get a clock going, and then hopefully they don't have it this turn. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Seems pretty good for them. They did not... No, they did play land. Uh, that's rough. They board in a Kiki combo. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I can't do anything about the token here. I mean, if they got it, they got it, you know. Um, bolt. Stomp. Untap dash. I think I like that. Bolt. What does this do? Discard two cards or draw two cards? Stomp, untap, dash, swing for nine, steal a wooded foothills, and leave this bolt up just in case, you know, we can stop them from having more 
And what does this thing do? It, it, enchantment creature, your token, that's another non-legendary, so it has haste. Well, I mean, they got to put a blocker. They got to win the game right now. Get rid of two remands. It's good to see. <laughs> All right, there's Dwarven Mine. So, again, I, they need to have, yeah, they got to have one mana here. They need to go at this thing because I can bolt the t token. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, they did it right. So let's see what happens here. Oh. Emerald Coal. Uh, are they still dead? Bolt here. They block here. No, they are still alive. Block here. This is this can swing too. Got to remember that. What if I don't bolt? I dash Ragavan. They have to deal with all these. They block here. They block here. It's three. God, I gotta live by one somehow. Fuck. All right, draw a card. Okay, so we play Blood Braid, we have to tap down the Arbor Elf, we swing, they block Bone Crusher, that's three, we have Ragavan come in, if they don't block the Ragavan, then we have Bolt for game. Come on, Blood Braid. Do some work. That's not work. That's not really work. All right. See if they see this. Swing with everybody. I think this is game, right? I mean, because they block here, they block here. This is five. This is going to make a treasure. And I can bolt them for game. Ah, oh, they saw it. <laughs> They're too smart. They're too smart. They saw it. Damn it. Wow. Annihilator 6. It's got to leave up one land. This thing doesn't have haste. Oh, God. Yeah, I gotta destroy everything now. Fuck! Why do you have that? All right, top deck red source. Top deck red source. Top deck. Top deck land won't even do it. I need, like, literally mountain. Yeah, okay. Fuck! God damn it! So fucking close there and just couldn't quite get there. I think I should take out these Clothes and bring in Force of Vigor or Cinder Vines. I think I like Force of Vigor. Fuck! Ah, it's close. One point off. And he actually figured it out. One point of damage away. And he had to have Tear, too. He had to have Tear. Uh, I guess. We'll try it.
Uh, I guess I could fury the crab in a little bit, maybe. So now that you have remand up. Yeah, he's holding remand up. Well, we make him do it. Yep. So we're still not at panic level of fury yet. Yeah, we want to leave Gone up, I think, here. See if he gets another, in his upkeep, we're going to see if he gets another walk. Yes, he does. It's another island. So in his upkeep, we're going to try and boil him. Do you think he's got... Force of negation here. I think we still make him upkeep. All right, in my upkeep, stomping ground. Well, the problem with doing it now is if he had force of negation, I'm just completely dead. Here. He has to counter it, and it gives me another turn. Uh, we will put that on top. We'll keep playing this game. Now it becomes again a... Well, we can just Fury and kill both these, so that's what I'm going to do there. Evo, Ditch, Pillage. Well, then it means there's a good shot that they have it against me, DJ. <laughs> Blow up all that shit. And... Man, six cards in hand is scary against... Against it. Um, all right, we'll try it. Let's go. Let's go boil. Well, no, now they can actually. No, no, we don't want to do it now. No, no, no. Because they probably have remand. So never mind. What the hell am I doing? All right, do another upkeep. All right. Okay. <sighs> the fuck is that? So I have to Blood Moon here, and I basically have to Fury here. Because... This thing says whenever it creates, create a treasure token. The creature on the back says create a token. It's a copy of another target non-legendary creature you control, except it has haste. Um, I really. Oh wait, no, I can. No, I don't need a fury. This I can dead this thing. Okay, we go. Blood moon. And then 
dead. There we go. All right. Sure. All right, Blood Braid, let's have some fun. Come on! Season Pyro, yes. Go, 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 go. That's fun. That's exciting. I hope. Okay. <laughs> Swing for three. Damn it, no. You monster. Okay, uh, just Fury here. It is fun. Creativity is a sorcery. All right, there we go. Woo! That was hard fought, man. That was a lot of bullshit. A lot of like juggling, like, oh my God, juggling, like, oh, some more shit in. I gotta juggle like 17 balls now. Damn, could it get more complicated? Good lord. Okay. Well, I'm taking down heinous shit. Hammer time and then creativity. Just absolute nonsense. Thank you guys. Nice. Sick. Thank you guys very much. Really appreciate it. Just a Hard-working blue-collar boy trying to get things done right with Ponza. That's all I am. My hat here says it all. Born to hunt, forced to work. When I go out hunting, that's how I put McDonald's on the table, goddammit. Huh? Sarge has redeemed the surgery beverage sip. Thank you very much, Sarge. It's good. I like it. How many caffeine's in this? 160 milligrams. The most I've ever seen is 300. I have heard of ones that have 400 milligrams of caffeine in them. Which is impressive. 400. Alrighty, yes, I think go first. That's a keep. Alright. Try to get close this on turn two. Uh oh. That looks like burn. That's because it is burn. Uh, kind of gross here, really. Um, yeah, so I think what we need to do here is probably play Clothis. I'm going to take some damage, though. I do have to... It's a weird situation. Because I want I can't get a basic mountain, but yet you look at my hand and I need double red, but I do have a bopper, I do have Quest and Beast in hand, and Clothis can eat this land. So, yeah, let, let's go down to 18, get another basic forest, play Clothis, and say, hey, man, anything you put in the graveyard will become more difficult for you to win. Make sure I turn my draw on. Ooh. Oh, boy. It's going to get bad, folks. It's thundering now. Oh, fuck. It's going to get, it's going to get bad. It's going to get real bad here. So if the stream cuts out, you guys know why. Massive storm rolling through. I thought we were done. But no. It's looking real heinous and bad and, and foreboding. Uh, I 
Opponent said Clothis no. Um, yeah, we'll bolt this, eat it, and that's all I can do. Yeah, bolt. I bet it is. Not up here, man. It's brutal. Yep, I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh, God. Intense hail rain. Oh, shit. Can you guys hear that? Oh, man, my power's flickering. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, I got a Ragavan. Very nice. Yeah, eat Rift Bolt. Got Skullcrack. All right. You got me. You got me good. Yeah, it, it's getting dangerous, Gage. It's getting dangerous. Okay, that's fine. A lightning bolt at Ragaman is fine. That's three less damage going to me. Looks like opponent's drawing pretty decent amount of lands. What is this? A lightning helix? Okay. Two cards in the hand. I would assume one's a lightning helix or a Boros charm. He was flashing those. Uh, turn my draw back on. I mean, yeah, we just try to survive through Clothis here. Power Lava Spike. But yeah, yeah, I might be actually getting hit by a bolt myself here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, it is bad out there. The things I do. Look at that ugly ass Boros charm. Look at this. How can you play that? What the fuck, man? What the hell? That ain't right. Draws a card. They really need to bolt this Arboro. Wow. Playing the new legendary red land. Rift Bolt, okay. I have one card left in hand. Uh, I will devour. Ooh, I drew a land even. Devour the Boros Charm. Play my land. Play Blood Braid. Come on, Blood Braid. Utopia Sprawl. Does that turn on Clothis? I think it does. Oh, yeah. Not enough for lethal here. So I want to hold back the Arbor Elf because it's not enough for lethal. And just in case they have a Swiss Spear, I can block or something. All right, I'm at six. Ah, uh, I got a Rift Bolt coming too. Fuck. All right, here we go. Do they top deck any sort of burn? Because I'm taking three here. Hold on, folks. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> all right, guys. I got to go check on my dogs. Make sure they're all secure and everything. Let me side real fast. Obstinate Bailoth clearly in. And as a side countermeasure, I actually do bring in Cinder Vines. Because they like to bring in Roiling Vortex versus me. Uh, Pillage can come out and soak in two Blood Moons. Alright guys, I'll be right back.
Yeah, we'll keep um, and hope the pyro can dig deeper. That's my plan there. Dogs are doing good. God damn it. Okay, that's good. I found that. Um, Cause now it's like, do I want a Arbor Elf bolt? I mean, do I want to do bolt first? Because if an Eidolon comes down, well, if I guess if an Eidolon comes down, we just fury it, right? So uh, yeah, we do start with Arbor Elf. See, they bolt the uh, Arbor Elf. The worst thing here would be, oh, that's pretty brutal too. Our Ralph coming. Do I just block here? Because I know I have another Arbor Elf coming. So I know I have another Arbor Elf coming. I, oh, oh, no, not that one. We'll block there. This could be bad. The um, Swiss Spear can survive here, of course. But does it? It's got to. Yeah, it's got to survive here. they got to have a bolt ready. Or not. Wow. Okay. All righty. No Searing Blaze there, I'm very grateful. Ugh. Why is that happening? Get my basic mountain. Yes. Play Pyro. Discard two forests, hopefully draw something decent. That's pretty decent. All right, no swing. Sit back and chill. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's ugly-ass Boros charm. Need to get stuff moving quickly. That's a nice mountain. That's not what I need. I can go to 11 to hold up a bolt. Come on, Blood Braid. Do your thing. Blood Moon, absolutely. Blood Moon is actually very strong in the Boros Burn matchup. Just cuts off their white cards so bad. Okay, we know they don't have any white cards in hand. Otherwise, they would have cast immediately and rapidly. Uh, I'm going to swing with both. We got to get moving here. I got a bolt for protection. Um, yeah, knock them to 14. Hopefully they don't have like double idle on or something. Yes. Yes, I am hurt. I am at five. I could be dead here. The hell? That's weird. Now it's saying skull cracks enter the area. Effects area. Needs more rhinos? What the hell does that mean? No, we do not need more rhinos. Uh, I guess we bolt one. Kind of a waste of a bolt, but what can you do? <sighs> My god! What the fuck? Th that does not have flying. Where is Optin and Bailoff when you need them? Let's see if I die here. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, resubmit.
I could probably take out Endurance, too. Yeah, but it's an instant speed threat, I guess. I would really enjoyed if that uh, Blood Raider actually would have cascaded into Clothis. I mean, it's my best card in this matchup. Gonna miss Ooze here. Now that there was no really creature, no, there was there was quite a few creatures for Ooze to eat. Yeah, it'd been great. Oh, Ooze! Everyone makes fun of you and say you're not good no more. But I tell people what, man, that Ooze, that's the little creature that could. I mean, it it, it has got me through so many. So many intense situations. Alright. No. I guess. This is a really bad hand when you look at it. I guess it's not that bad. It's going to be a little bit scary, though. Yep. Lightning Bolt, sure. So now what I had to take two damage here. So how what's the way I can take the least amount of damage? I, I, you, there's just really no way. I could go. I could go play sprawl. Onto forest, naming red. Uh, with the floating red, bolt the goblin guide and play the blood moon tapped. I think I like that. Let me play the stomping ground tapped. Bolt. Uh, slam Blood Moon or Blood Braid? I do like cutting them off their white. That's huge. I, I think it's just best for me to cut off the white mana. I mean, it's really important. Ah, these Boros Charms. Come on, Blood Raid. Season Pyro, sure. Manure Butts here. He said, Moon him. I did, bud. My big red ass. Okay, I mean, that's fine drawing there, too. Let's keep this up. And there were Rift Bolt coming at me. Okay, I'm at eight. This could be intense. And I can't find Bailoth right now either. I don't have enough green. Am I dead? Son of a bitch. I'm dead. God fuck! God fuck! The fuck is that? What the fuck?
You just don't see burn hands like that too often. Look at that shit. Look at that. That's why burn's so good. That's why this deck is just so insane. It's like always in the top eight. There's always a burn deck that's just wrecking people. Just holy shit. Fuck, if I just want to live one more turn, I would have cascaded. Well, I don't know what to cascade. No, I was going to top deck. I guess I should have looked. But nothing going to save me there. Unbelievable. And that's how you don't get a 5-0, is you run into something like that. I really like where we're heading, but now the, the league's probably a lost cause. See if I can't get a 4-1. There's none I could have done differently. I guess I could have mold aggressively, but he had two skull cracks, right? He skull cracked me twice. So Clothis wouldn't have done anything either. Yeah, this is done I could have done differently. Blood Braid into Bolt was GG. Oh, on the second Blood Braid? Yeah. It would have been, yeah. Except the opponent, you know, had 15 points of burn that turn. Right? They had Skewer, Lava Spike, Rift, Bolt. 12 points. 12 points of burn. 12 points of burn in one turn. Like, holy shit. How does this deck not win more? Like, this deck can actually lose sometimes? Alright. Now I gotta mulligan this. I can keep this one, though. Uh, I guess toss back. I mean, this is pretty rough here. Uh, toss back Fury. I generally like tossing back the Furies just because, you know, it's a little bit rough here because I have to fetch for a forest. <laughs> um, I'm reducing my land count and I really can't have Arbor Elf die here. Oh, good. Okay, well. I guess I don't have to worry about getting killed here. Play this tapped, and don't swing in case I need to bolt something. Because last seen playing Boros mid-range, but that was a long time ago, three weeks ago. It's probably just hammer time again. Right? What else could it possibly be? It's not Jund. They'll never lead out on this with Jund. Oh, it's just Amulet type. Okay. Alrighty. Gotcha. Happy to see it's Amulet. Not really. Still lead off with Blood Raid. Come on, Blood Raid! Season Pyro. I thought it was a Blood Moon for a second. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Endurance for sure. Opponent says, nice. Yeah, we do. Uh, endurance... And Ragavan or Lightning Bolt? Probably Lightning Bolt. Even though Lightning Bolt can be good sometimes. Okay. I mean, we got nice stuff happening here.
So now they have an Ursus Saga in hand. Oh, there it is. Let's see the um, let's see the uh, Dryad here. I guess it can't be a Dryad. They don't have enough. No, Dryad only needs one green. So I guess it can't be a Dryad. Oh. I wish I would have kept my lightning bolt. Poor shame. Poor shame. Alright. <clears throat> Basically gotta talk that top deck Blood Moon here. I mean. Depending on what lands they play right now. I mean, there's no amulet yet, so. Let's see here. Five mana. Yes. Do I shock here? I think so. Cast with dash. You go, you go, you go. Do I send the tokens? Reblock, but if they block, that's eight damage. I guess, yeah. Let's, let's get them all in there. Get them all going. They take it all. What do I get? Oh, look at that! I get a Dryad. I think that's getting staying exiled. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this suit will be six. No, I guess it doesn't matter. It's six anyways. Yeah, it is a six. Yeah, 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 yeah. No amulet, though, so I'm not dead. It's close, though. So they have one more land drop with the Asusa. Probably should get Radiant Fountain. I think that'd be one of them. Radiant Fountain, like a forest, just in case I find more instant speed or I mean more, you know, bolts or something. Because he knows I'm gonna be dashing this Ragavan. He found another Urza Saga in a forest. Okay. Hello. Um, yes. Devour. Play my forest so I have all my mana. I have seven. Block here, block here. Come on, Blood Raid. Something good. Something tasty. That's not tasty. I mean, I guess we'll block with that. Uh, and then, yeah, dash here. So, yeah, he blocks here. He blocks here. One, three, five, seven, ten. I, I think that's pretty dead. As long as I don't fuck up here. All right, there we go. Okay, just went as wide as possible. Just massive creature army got him. All right, so we got Amulet here. Okay, um, so Clothes is really bad. All this stuff right here is pretty rough. Uh, I Let me leave one Clothes in for the moment. Um, I do like Cinder Vines. I do like Force of Vigor and Boil. Um...
Clothes is an interesting card because it's like, it, it's super good, but sometimes it just, it's not going to do anything. This is one of the matchups where it's like questionable. Can it do anything? And generally the answer is no. And I'll take out a Ragavan too, especially as I'm going second. And uh, I'll go from there. Yep. Looking good. Getting that ramp moving. Okay, uh <coughs> definitely need to throw down the Blood Moon next turn. Uh simply to deal with that Urza saga. Um yeah, it should feel pretty good on turn two. I hope. This looks like a dismember, though, so it's not coming. Fuck! Who brings in dismember anymore? What the hell? God damn it. You son of a bitch. All right, well, they've only got three cards left in hand, but we all know one's a titan, right? I mean, come on. One's a titan. What are we even talking about here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's it? Oh. Well, shit. All right. Okay. All right. Definitely get another forest here. Uh... Yeah, I mean, just obviously has to be Blood Moon. And then we still want to keep the Fury just in case a Dryad shows up. I can evoke the Fury and kill the Dryad. And another forest. We had another forest. All right, maybe I can find Pillage. Uh, all right, blood break time. Baby, hey! Well, yeah, I can't dash with that, but definitely cast it. Uh, swing in for three. Would you like to block? No. Why would you not block in that situation? Like, I, I don't really understand that. Like, it's already done its job, right? Uh-oh. Ah, the old force of negation. All right, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I still don't know why they wouldn't block here. Like, why take the three damage? What's that about? They probably held that Force of Vigor until they top deck Titan. Right? So I would assume Titan's coming here. Show me one bounce land. One bounce land. Swing here. I mean, I guess I'll trade. I mean, what the hell? Why not? I mean, Fury coming in next. Well, maybe not. Fury's coming in next turn. All right? Fuck it, take the two. They don't have escape shift yet, right? Well, they could. They bounce. Play escape shift. I'm already dead escape shift. What's that matter? No, I'm not. Now I am. Oh. Two, one, one, 
So at least Ragaman gets to kill one of these. There you go. All right, now to avoid the Fury. I mean, the, the Primeval Titan. I, I am shocked they have not gotten it. Like, this, this is just unbelievable. Um, what to do here? How much mana is this? Six, seven? Stomp them. And then play Season Pyro. I mean, I could get Blood Moon too. And then I'll look dumb. Yeah, stomp him. I got Blood Moon. All right, let's see if I can't get this uh, Cinder Vines on the field at least. All right. Swing in. Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to get Cinder Vines. All right, go for another Forest. All right, we have the amulet potentially dead. The question is, do I get another turn? Oh, baby, here we go. Here we go. It's always just one turn too late. Here, we, let's see. Am I dead? Let's find out. Here we go. Oh, boy. Sit back and brace for impact. You're gonna have four mana, right? With the amulet. Well, I guess what they what, what do they want to do? They want to go. They want to give Titan. They want to give Titan haste, right? So they got to get what Boros Garrison. Is that the one that gives haste? I don't remember. I don't play this deck. I just know there's one that gives them haste. So they want to find that, uh, and then. Swing. I block aggressively. I mean, is there, it, yeah, it, it's what it's Titan time. What is this Simic growth? By end of Alicut? Okay. They played a land, didn't they? Oh my God! Now it's Sunner's pack. Fuck! Come on. They had more lands? Oh, because the Dryad lets them play another land. What the hell's going on? They kill- All right! Uh, what? You lose! You kill Fury and just die to the-, the Yeah, you just die to this. All right, sweet. Right on. Yeah, Slayer Stronghold or Sunhome. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. All right! Taking down Titan. That's a man who didn't really know how to handle that situation. I think he was just pr pretty dead. I mean, just getting him, just Ponza, that's one thing I love about Ponza sometimes. It's just so aggressive. It's just like dump all these creatures on the field and say, get them. You know, sometimes it works. You know, sometimes it doesn't. Get the old 4-1, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's never, it's never easy. You see, where that Titan player failed, compared to most other Titan players, they didn't find Titan fast enough. They always have 12 copies of Primeval Titan, right? They got the four Prime Times, they got the four Summoner's Packs, and they have the four Talaria West. It's just ridiculous. And they've always got it.
Always. No four color, please. Yeah, I'm not excited to play against that. I mean, I lost a burn. But, man, that burn player really burned me. I mean, that was insane. 12 points of burn in one turn. Like, holy shit. Calm down, bro. I'm just here to play magic. He's like, I am too. I'm playing Boros Burn. It's like, what the fuck? Did they get stuck on four lands? I didn't see that three, three, three. But you're probably right. They were a little slow for a Titan deck. All right. Yes, I had to go first. Yeah, I mean, I, I like keeping hands like this. I still believe in Mana Curve. I don't think you need to, especially going first here. Um, I don't think you need to have a massive, you know, turn one start. I mean, we, it looks good. Two, three, four. I like this kind of stuff. Couple turns at least. Yeah. But they had, like, a lot of mana with it. Four? I don't know. Whatever. It's in the past. It's in the past. What's going on here? Uh-oh. That shenanigans there. Is this like... Um... Heliod? Come on, Blood Moon. Get in there. Get in there, Blood Moon. You gotta do it, Blood Moon. Enchantress? Oh, fuck. That's not a bad draw. Because now I can fetch for another stomping ground if I need to. Have it tapped. Well, we just we just gotta have this blood moon come in. Enchantress plays Blood Moon? Why would they play Blood Moon when they put a Utopia Sprawl in a Temple Garden? Seems strange. What? Alright, I guess we won't be... We'll be saving this Bone Crusher Giant for a while. Fuck! I think it's Heliod now, guys. I guess I can get my basic mountain here. Need to save the Bone Crusher Giant. No, no. Yeah, yeah, I can get basic mountain here. Right? Stomp. Yeah, I can get Stomping Ground too. Yeah, fuck it. Just say no. Alright, DJ. Thanks for stopping by, man. Hopefully I can beat this guy. It's gonna be tough. It's a long road ahead. Alright, Blood Moon time. Cut them off some mana. They're going to gain... It's never a creature enters the battlefield. Okay. This is not a Lava Walker, whatever his name is. Core Fire Walker. Alright, you are down to a mountain and a plains. So I'm going to have to play this smartly. Why? Why the hell would you have a basic fucking forest in your hand? What the hell? That's some bullshit right there. Alright. Yep. Okay. Give me a questing beast. Oh. Alright, blood braid number one. It's fire. Come on, sprawl. Okay, I guess. That's ramp. Yep. Um, I actually have enough mana for my devious plan to work next turn. So my devious plan is that they will maybe block with Oriok Champion. Right? So what I do is I go Bloodbraid Elf. I swing. They block with Oriok. But then I stomp them, and therefore Blood Braid can't be prevented. So I'm going to swing here. And 
and see if they want to trade Ballista with this. They do not. Do they have the combo wrapped up? Uh, I remember some lists having uh, Oriok Champion as like another win condition because every time you gain life, uh, they get to put another counter on this one, but I don't know. It's interesting. So now I think I just want to actually hold Bone Crusher. But yeah, we will definitely Cascade again because maybe I can find Pillage. Come on! I haven't played Pillage once today. Oh my god, they get to gain two life. Fuck. But this is a good blocker. They can shoot it though with Arbor Elf, and that's fine. I mean, they can shoot it with uh, Walking Ballista. Alright, swing for six. Need now to try and hold this uh, Bone Crusher Giant in case they try to find some sort of combo here to kill the Ballista. No swing. So there's already the fear building. Already terror beginning. So let's see if my devious plan works. We are going to swing with both Blood Braids. Hope that they block one of them with the Oriok. And if they do, I'm totally chill with that. Excellent. Would you like to block? No. Okay. Stomp a Ruski. Make sure not to stomp this. What's happening? What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, they I guess if they find a forge tender or something. Luckily I top deck this bolt. Could be very important here. They're taking a while here, so that either it's, it's one extreme or the other. Either they found nothing and they're pissed, or they found everything they want and they can't decide which two to put on, right? The field. So, you know, oh boy. Well, they found some good shit there. They're at eight. Okay, if Heliod tries to come down, how the hell did they get the... Oh, it's only one green. Uh, okay. All right, they have assembled. They're just missing missing Heliod now. This is getting kind of gross. What's going on? He's putting a plus one, plus one. What's the target? Itself? What? Oh, it, it did put it on itself. Oh, man. Fuck. I've never seen someone actually do that before. Um, yeah, I mean, we swing here. Try to kill this thing and bait, I guess. Right? Mm. 
They don't take it. Probably shoot Arbor Elf. Yep. And then they can remove a plus one, plus one, gain three life. Gain two life. Okay. Just end here. Yeah, yeah, I fucked up with not realizing what was going on with the spike feeder, so the game's over now. Damn it. If I would have known what was happening, yeah, it would have been different. But I just, I'd never seen somebody do this before. Put a, make it a 4-4. Four, four. I've never seen this before in my life. I've seen them add it to other creatures, so I was confused and I was putting it on itself. I guess now I can bolt it, right? Yes, as it needs two. Try it. Needs two mana. Yep. Oh, wait, this still won't work. Okay, all right. All right, just let him do his thing. Make him waste all the time in the world. Yeah, I... No, I never had a chance with the two Conclaves. Yeah, I just never had a chance. I need Rampaging Ferocidon. Folks, I played against four combo decks today, basically. So far, I defeated all of them. The first three combo decks. I don't know about this one. Oh my god, what the hell? I don't even remember what to bring in. It's been so long since I've seen this motherfucker. I need Roiling Vortex? Yeah, I don't got that. Um, what's up, Luke? Glad you're here, man. Uh, Cinder Vines will not do anything. Oh, yeah, I know Roiling Vortex. I, Burn plays it a lot. Oh, man. This won't work because it's not a creature most of the time. They're Heliod. But I guess we'll bring in Dead Gone anyways. Uh... It's really all I got. I could try to bring in Cinder Vines against like their Ballista. Yeah, I, I can balance a combo piece, but it's pretty rough. Because this won't work against Oriok. It will work against that Celestia creature. Pillage always looks good. Ragaman should be all right. Bone Crusher is good. I think that's all I'm going to do. Cinder Mines is pretty weak here. I mean, the only thing it can hit is a, it's a walking ballista. Alright, it's been a long time since I played against this. It is really tough to beat this deck. Except for when this deck was super popular. Then, uh, uh, probably mole this. Wow, not much better. Um, 
I guess keep though. Keep and put. Oh man, this is ugly. Keep and put Tyro on bottom. I mean, just try to fight through creatures here. And then try to Blood Moon Pillage. That's all I got. I am not going to fetch here. I'm going to try and draw a card, draw a land. I'm pretty sure I put that on bottom, but apparently I put it on top. Yeah, there's waiting here with multiple fetches. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Going to get fucked. Going to get fucked in the ass. Fucking combo players. Does not fetch for a basic. Interesting. Triple green. Okay, that looks bad. <laughs> God damn it, motherfucking deck. What the fuck is wrong with you? This is the same thing that happened to me with Abzan at the 1K I played at. Was I would keep a hand and it would just it would never do anything. I would never find that third land. Opponent does nothing? What? Yay! I found a forest. I mean, clearly they must have force of vigor, right? I mean, they've got to have something if they're just sitting here like this. Yeah, they got the ballista, but what can I possibly do? I could pillage the basic forest <laughs> and hope they don't have another fetch. Did they skip the land? Yeah, they skipped the land. So I'm kind of wondering here if I just pillage that forest. I kind of want to. I think I'm going to. I mean, what, what else choice do I have? Put Ballista in. I have nothing here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. They missed a land drop. Hopefully that's enough to slow them down. Wow, it is. Holy shit. Here come my lands. Okay, here's Blood Moon. Do they have... Do they have the Force of Vigor? No. Wow! Holy shit, what the fuck? Pillage! <laughs> Get in there! Oh, uh, yeah, we just resubmit. Uh, that was crazy. Wow. Again, I have to mole. I mean, this is a terrible hand. Like, mole, mole, mole. Keep, keep, keep. It's funny because, like, back in the day before Prismatic Ending existed, when this deck was popular... I'd be all about keeping this hand and, you know, shipping away a land. 
because they really didn't have a way to get rid of Utopia Sprawl. But now there's Prismatic Ending. And if I get rid of a land here, right, say dump the basic forest, I'm in a lot of trouble if they Prismatic End here. I'd have to find another guaranteed forest. The question is, is it worth shipping away the forest? Do I get greedy? And I think the answer might be yes. Because I need to have a way to destroy some of their creatures, which I have with Fury, technically. I need to be able to destroy one of their lands, which I have, most doubt, undoubtedly. So I am going to put the way of the forest, and let's see if I get mana screwed again. What else can you do? Okay, that's scary. Okay, looks like I'm not mana screwed here. At least not completely yet. Hit that with pillage. Come on. Let me do it. Okay. I like that. that. All right. Things are moving along here. And, and. Oof! That's big. That's a big one there. Come on, Blood Braid. Next turn. It's your turn. It's your time, Blood Braid. It's your time. Cascading that Blood Moon. What the hell happened here? They got an Oriok champion or something? Oof. Uh, we still go with... Still go with the Blood Braid, I feel. Right? Blood Braid. Yes. Try to find that Blood Moon. Come on, Blood Braid! You can do it. Pillage! Oh my god. Yes, hit it again. I mean, it's not as good as a basic with the sprawl on it, but just keep hurting that man. I'm through all my pillages now. All pillages are out. What's happening here? The fuck is this? Double green? What is double green at instant speed? Is there enchantment removal? Is that what they're going at here? Going to hit the sprawl? What are you up to? What's happening? Nothing? Okay. All right. Even better. All right. Swing in for three. All right. Oof. Cord for o Dryad, maybe. All right, swing for five. Go, 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 go. Took a Pendle Haven. They probably need that Pendle Haven. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fuck. All right. They have two cards in hand. Gonna go up to three. That's quality right there. That That is what we all needed to see. All right, dash in this. Well, I still don't have them yet, right? A walking ballista can still maybe win the game. I don't know. I'm not a combo player, so I never see their combos forming too well. Get down to four. Steal the sky clay. That's a nice one to steal. You know, I could actually... Can I steal... You don't control it. Yes, I can take the Sun Crowned. 
So yeah, let's let's play this all out. So play Blood Moon. He's probably thinking I'm an idiot. I haven't played a land yet, so I can clay the stomping ground. I, I play the Blood Moon first to save myself two life. It's small, but whatever. It does kill that Sprawl as well. Uh, and then, yeah, let's fucking take that Heliod. I mean, fuck yeah. Yeah, there we are. 4 1. All right, on. Woo! Hell yeah, brothers and sisters, and dogs, right on, Whew. that fucking Boros burn got me though, absolutely insane, alright, let's open up these treasure chests, let's see what I got here, see if there's some goodies in here, alright, treasure chests and non-binary folks, I get confused by that, so I just say, you know, you can't go wrong. Wow, a Cabal Coffers, nice. You can't, and an Augur of Autumn, that's a good card too. Uh, you can't go wrong by saying, I guess you can now, right? Because there's people that say they're neither, right? Just, I don't even want to talk about it. I, I, I really don't, because I, I'll just admit, I have no idea. Like, huh? You hurt my brain sometimes, folks. Just, I treat you nice, that's all that should matter. God damn it. Uh, wow, a force negation, nice. Some good, some good shit here. What the hell is Sun Gold Sentinel? I don't know. All right. Uh, Sphinx Summoner and Wound Reflection. The beginning of each end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life they lost this turn. Wow. Put that in Red Black Burn, huh? Wound. We got, uh, I got so many, oh, and 35 points, nice, I got so many, so many of these Jijins or whatever, that's like Genie, right? That's supposed to be like Arabic for Genie or something? I don't know. Again, I don't know. Uh, and God Eternal Ronus, and 20 points, nice. Oh, God Eternal. This one's from War of the Spark. I don't even remember what this one does. This one has Death Touch. When God Eternal Ronus enters the battlefield, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. Those creatures gain vigilance till end of turn. Pretty good. When God Eternal dies or is put to exile from the battlefield, they put in an owner's library third from top. Okay. That makes sense. God Eternal just comes back. All righty, very nice performance from our friend Ponza here. A nice return, a 4-1. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Yeah, he died a long time ago. What are we talking about? Did I pull a card that's wrong? Oh, the genie. Yes, the genie from Aladdin. You know, in the second Aladdin movie, right? Uh, I, I don't remember. Return of Jafar. Man, I'm digging deep to remember that. Return of Jafar. Uh, I think the guy who does Homer's voice did Genie. And then I think in the third Aladdin movie, they actually got Rob Williams back, if I remember right. Uh, you know, to do Genie's voice. Um, funny enough, I've never seen somebody with the name Aladdin. Like, is that not a real name in the Middle East? Because I've never seen somebody like, this is Aladdin. I've seen Ali. Like, remember Chemical Ali from... The Iraq days, Saddam Hussein. Um, but anyways, uh, you saw someone drop that Rona with an Earharg and a Ponza list a couple weeks ago at a 3K. Well, that man's teching hard, and uh, grats to him for that. Uh, that's that's pretty intense. I, that would really work well with Fury, right? Fury become a 6-6 six, six double striker. That's some serious damage. It's like an Obosh, but Obosh is probably better overall. But you do lose out on the Bloodbraid Elves. You know, that really sucks not having Bloodbraid Elf and Ponza. I, I, I used to play the Obosh Ponza list because at the time, 
not having a companion was stupid because companions were free. Like, oh, boss, you just play out your sideboard in five mana, right? You didn't have to pay the three and then the five for a total of eight. Um, so it just made more sense to play Obosh, but man, I really struggled sometimes. Uh, instead of Blood Braids and Questing Beasts and Chandra, you see me running cards like Kitchen Finks and Tireless Tracker and uh, Gruel Spellbreaker, the new one. And what was the other card? It was from Ravnica. Burning Tree Emissary, not Emissary, uh, Burning Tree Shaman, the one whenever an, an activated ability happens the opponent takes one damage but they would actually take two <laughs> if he had obosh on the field it was an okay card i mean it, it performed all right um spellbreaker i i played spellbreaker in ponza many times and it's always been pretty good it, it's never been like terrible it's always been a pretty decent card i definitely liked it in standard uh, i was a big fan of it in standard and in modern it seemed pretty decent i mean it wasn't great or nothing but it wasn't ass um so yeah, guys, there we go. 4-1, first day back with Ponza. Ponza all week. Um, you know, get hyped for that. I know you guys love the Ponza, and I do too. Uh, it's my favorite deck, and it's the deck that you can really see the wheels turning when I'm playing it, I hope. You know, you can really see my brain trying to engage and try to figure out how I can still win this because, you know, it's the deck I have the most reps with, the deck I have the most confidence with. And uh, so it's always fun to try and figure out ways to win. Or find interesting ways to lose sometimes, right? <laughs> I mean, that happens way too often where I had game or something and I made the completely wrong play because I overthought it. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's do some our shout-outs here, of course. Shout-outs to 3-3, Flying Trample, I guess your full name is that, Loopman98, uh, DJ F. Sappy, Manure Butt, Sarge. Uh, we got Thek Gage in here. And that's and the MTG bot and the Night Bar for Human Company. And of course, a special thank you to Izulde Jestor for the follow. Really appreciate that, man. That's very awesome. And yeah, guys, another fun experience. The only loss was to Boros Burn, which had 12 points of burn damage in one turn. Good luck being Boros Burn when they're doing that. I mean, you gotta be having some incredible turn yourself. You know, you gotta be getting like weather the storm going. That's like the only card I think that could have possibly beaten them there. Um, because they did waste both skull cracks just because, you know, because they saw, they, the guy saw the damage. He was like, if I top deck one more, uh, three burn card, I win the game. And he did. So kudos to him. Uh, he can pat himself on the back and tell all his friends. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's content. If you watched it on Twitch, please start following. If you watched it on YouTube, please start subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, I will be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Ponza action. Uh, it's always exciting. It's always fun to play. Um, even if I do bad, I'm like, you know what? This deck, I believe in it. I think it's one of the better decks that nobody talks about. And uh, I love stomping on people with it. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy seeing that. And, uh, anyways, guys, also stay safe. Eat some good food. Drink some good beverages. And spend some time with your loved ones, of course. It's a crazy world out there. You know, you read about all sorts of crime and stuff and, and just stuff that's really bad. You know, you're, I try to tune out the bad stuff, but you got to look at it sometimes to, just to safeguard yourself and, and realize to always keep an eye out. And, you know, make sure that you really spend time with your loved ones because, unfortunately, there's insane, horrible people out there. And, you know, I'm not just talking about, like, guys with guns and knives. I'm not talking about drunk drivers. I'm talking about, you know, stuff like that where it's just in a moment – you're just driving down the road and some drunk ass dude in a F-350 runs your ass off the road and it's all over. Hope that doesn't happen to any of you, but I'm just saying it's always important to love your family because it's just bad things can happen for no reason, you know, and just I'm not trying to be doom and gloom here. I'm just trying to be uh, realistic, but I hope to see you all at 4 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really enjoy uh, when you guys see any of this and it really tickles me pink and like I said guys I'll try hard tomorrow I'll try and get that 5-0. I think a 4-1 is a good start um, But we'll see how it goes the rest of the week. Okay All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Peace